The Toowoomba Second Range Crossing Project, known as the TSRC, is a four-lane highway that runs from Warrigo Highway East Interchange to Warrigo Highway West Interchange and then continues as a two-lane carriageway until the Gore Highway. The main structure of the project is an 817 metre long viaduct over two deep valleys located east of Mount Kynock within the eastern section of the project. With a longitudinal grade of 6.5% that allows the entrance of the highway to Toowoomba, the use of tunnels through the Great Dividing Range is avoided. The Toowoomba Second Range Crossing Viaduct has 22 spans with a typical span length of 38 metres with 11 Super T girders. It overpasses the QR Western Rail Line. Divided into two deck lengths, the expansion joints are located at abutments and at Pier 11. It has 21 piers with a tallest height of 51 metres. The foundations are designed with six piles per footing, which allow reducing the earthwork movements. The bridge is constructed using a modern day construction technology that consists of a launching truss gantry for the installation of the Super T girders that forms the main part of the structure. The launching gantry is assembled behind abutment B where it has developed the load test sequences required for the approval of the launching system. Due to the construction program, the erection of the girder starts at the higher side of the bridge next to the New England Highway, launching the girders downhill. The construction of the first span, span 22, is done during a rail line shutdown window of four days. The launching gantry needs to stand on top of six steel columns, rail frame and rollers to move over the piers for the erection of the girders. Once span 22 is erected and concreted, it starts the launch of the four-span sequence. With six launching gantry supports placed on top of the piers, the girders of the following four spans are erected. In order to launch the girder over the span, the launching gantry has several anchorage systems for movement of the girder and self-launching. When the girder is lifted, the truss is anchored to the middle support to allow the movement of the winches with the girder. Once the girder has advanced to the next position, the master winch is anchored to the rail frame, allowing the self-launching of the truss. First, the three central girders are launched, followed by the girders next to them. For the erection of the edge girders, they're lowered on top of the headstock and then shifted to their final position, completing the span, placing the girder next to them. Using the same system to move over the piers, the launching gantry starts the relocation of the supports when the four spans are launched. With the rear service cranes, it's temporarily relocated the rollers, crossbeam and steel columns on top of the rail frame support legs and end of the launched girders. Continuing with the sequence, the launching gantry is positioned to pick up the launching gantry support elements with the front service cranes, relocating them in their final position. As soon as the first launching gantry support is relocated from the pier, it will start the concreting works of the deck. When it achieves full strength, the next four-span sequence starts. Once the launching is finished, the launching gantry is removed from abutment A. The Toowoomba Second Range Crossing is more than just an iconic infrastructure project. It is a vital link in the future of Australia's freight network. With national freight numbers predicted to double by 2030, the TSRC ensures Australia has a network that can support growth. By boosting Queensland's competitiveness and improving access to employment opportunities, health and education, the TSRC is driving the future of regional Australia.